Before you list your home for sale, see the four most common mistakes that sellers make. My name is Amy Smith, I'm with eXp, and I specialize in helping sellers sell their home when it doesn't sell the first time. Mistake number one, improper pricing. Pricing is a delicate topic, but it is a big portion of where marketing happens. If you price it too high, buyers are not gonna come look at it. If you price it too low, you risk leaving money on the table. When we meet, there's a series of questions that we ask to help discover if pricing was a problem. For example, if you had one showing in 21 days, that may indicate that you were priced too high. But if you have 12 showings in 12 days, that would indicate something else is likely the problem. In this case, we would look to buyer's feedback to help us figure out what's going on. To avoid a pricing mistake, it's critical to hire an agent who knows and understands pricing and positioning of a home in a shifting market. One strategy we use is price banding. It takes into account homes that are sold, but also active and currently pending. By pricing strategically, you can increase the chances of attracting well-qualified, interested buyers who recognize the value of your home. Mistake number two, lackluster presentation. A buyer's first impression matters and dark, cluttered rooms are a big turnoff. Part of marketing a home is about creating an emotional connection with buyers quickly. Did you know that most buyers decide if they're gonna buy your house within the first minute of entering? Something we do for our sellers that no other agent does is we have a marketing budget set aside to help you prepare your home. Whether it's professional staging, minor repairs, cosmetic enhancements, I'm here to help you every step of the way. We use this marketing budget to have rooms painted, carpets cleaned and stretched, windows washed, front doors have even been refinished. I do this all at no cost to my clients. By investing time and effort into the presentation of your home, you increase the overall desirability and make a long lasting impression on potential buyers. Remember, a well-presented home stands out among the competition and often translates into a quicker, more successful sale. Mistake number three, unflattering photos and inadequate marketing. In today's digital age, your online presence is critical when it comes to selling your home. Let's address these two interconnected mistakes and discuss how we can overcome them to maximize your home's exposure and attract well-qualified buyers. First, let's talk about the unflattering photos. Blurry, low-quality listing photos can be a major turnoff for buyers. They're the first glimpse that buyers get of your home. If they don't capture buyer's attention immediately, they're gonna scroll right on through. That's why I believe in the power of professional photography. I have a skilled photographer who specializes in capturing the home's essence and captures the best highlights of homes. Their expertise ensures that every angle and every detail is showcased to its fullest potential. To truly engage buyers, my photographer also creates stunning videos and 3D walkthrough tours of your home. Using these, we generate more interest and attract serious buyers who are genuinely excited about your property. Now let's address the issue of inadequate marketing. Selling a home requires a comprehensive marketing strategy that reaches a wide audience. It's not enough anymore to simply list your house on a few websites. I employ a multifaceted approach to ensure maximum exposure. We leverage online websites like Realtor.com, Trulia, and Zillow, but we also use social media channels like Instagram and Facebook. We even use traditional marketing methods like postcards, broker tours, and networking with other high producing agents. By investing in these areas, we'll increase your home's visibility, attract qualified buyers, and ultimately position you for a successful sale. Mistake number four, access. The last thing that most homes that don't sell the first time have in common would be access. Limiting showings may make it harder for buyers to come and see your home in person, which in turn would limit the number of offers that you receive. It's pretty typical to have a one or two hour notice 
but homes that are requiring a 24-hour notice take much longer to sell if they sell at all. So if you're in a situation where you do need a 24-hour notice to show your home, let's discuss some strategies to help you overcome that buyer objection. This has been Amy Smith with eXp. If your home didn't sell the first time, don't lose hope. Avoiding these common mistakes will significantly increase your chances of success. Remember, it's all about pricing, presentation, photos, and marketing. Together, let's make your next listing a resounding success.